Hi everybody, it's Kent Kaufman coming to you from the Research Farm in Garden City, BigGuild.us. Today I want to talk a little bit about deep ripping. So we did a lot of deep ripping this year. We had some compaction issues. Uh, we actually had some, uh, some, when we were building our lakes, we had a lot of high traffic, heavy traffic going through the fields. And so it affected yield. You could see it. Um, you can see it even when the crops are growing, you could just see that little dip. And you can even see it here with the NDVI. You can see, you know, we have a road there, and that's one of the issues where we had compaction. So we, we deep ripped pretty much all of our fields. And so the big thing with deep ripping is you want to be able to get below that man made uh, compaction issue. So you want to get at least a foot deep. If you can get, you know, 18, 20 inches, then that's great too. Um, you, you want that nice shank tip so you can get underneath the dirt and lift it up. Um, deep ripping should last. For three seasons, it's not something you need to do every year. Um, it's probably not going to hurt a lot of years. Uh, you can get some haying off uh, and lose some water, especially when you're doing it in dry years. But in wet years like this year is a great time to rip, a great time to go over those heavy traffic areas, places where your combine, your tractors have been going back and forth on your field and rip that, rip that soil up, air it out, let your, your micros get back in there and let your roots grow deeper for this next season. Again, this is Kent Kaufman, BigYield.us. Check us out online.